Crystals. I'm Eric Sean, Fox News. Joining us now in New York, former New York Republican Congressman Joseph Diaguardi. He is now the president of the Albanian American Civic League in Washington. We have Republican Iowa Senator Charles Grassley and former Arizona Democratic Senator Dennis DeConcini. Uh, Senator DeConcini, welcome back. Good to see you. Senator Thank Grassley, you, good to see you. Be with you. you know, the military calls it collateral <laughs> damage, Senator. Uh, which is an antiseptic septic turn for the inevitable victims of, of war. Do you agree with, I mean, what, is this something we have to expect being involved in this? When you say senator, do you mean Senator Grassley or Senator uh, DeConcini? Well, we'll start with you, Senator Grassley. <laughs> you can go first. <laughs> okay. But, I mean, we're talking about these tragedies, these innocent <clears throat> people, these victims well, of the NATO bombing. Is this something we have to anticipate and expect, as the president said? Uh, the answer to that is definitely yes. Uh, when we, when the president was advised by his generals before he made a decision to do that, uh, to go to, uh, to bombing, that they, that they shouldn't, that he shouldn't do it, and he decided not to listen to them, uh, we're seeing some of the end result of not accepting as a political leader some of the wise judgment of your military leaders. You know, I have been making this point, Senator DeConcini, <clears throat> the brightest military minds in the country warn this president, airstrikes alone will not be able to accomplish the mission that he wants. We now see the escalation. We have 24 Apaches, well, 82 planes, the request Sean, for 300 more, and then the possibility of some congressmen want to send in ground troops, uh, yeah, Senator DeConcini. Yeah, but Sean, you know, you got, you, got, you, got, you got to look at the history here. You know, there was a division in our military about bombing Bosnia or whether to send ground troops or whether to send any bombing or not. And General McPeak, who was the chief of staff of the Air Force, said we could do it with air only, and it turned out to be right. A lot of people said we couldn't within the military. I was chairman of the Intelligence Committee then, and I remember so well, even during the Persian War, there was a split. There was a division within the military. Somebody, commander-in-chief, President of the United States, whether it's Bush or it's Clinton, has got to make the de decision. All right, and I think have... the president has made the right decision and is using caution, right. but he's using the force of our military but Senator technology. Senator DeConcini, we know the senator's senior four-star officers prior to the engagement that's going on in Kosovo that they warned the president about this. We now find ourselves in a position today where Secretary of Defense William Cohn says this a Kosovo conflict can stretch into the summer. He acknowledges American casualties are likely. We now see the escalation. There's a lot of talk about ground troops. We have to ask some serious, significant questions that have not been raised here before is, why are we there? What is our end game? What is our exit strategy? And well, is it a vital U.S. Uh, interest? The, the, the Powell Doctrine question. Yeah, well, the question, the, 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 the question why we're there is because Mr. Milosevic is committing genocide. Now, the question is, what is the end strategy? What are we going to do? Well, I don't think we have to disclose that, and I happen to agree with the president. There's no reason to commit ground troops. I don't think we have to pay that dear a price, but we do have a responsibility to respond. What this president has done is put 19 countries together, NATO, to do an air campaign. That's quite a feat in and of itself. Congressman DeConcini, just before we bring you in, uh, Congressman DeAguardi, Congressman DeConcini, you said we don't have to disclose an exit strategy, but we do have to have one. And I question well, whether we even have an exit strategy. Well, if we yeah, know at the end, at least in the well, Persian Gulf War, we knew what would have to happen for us to get out of there. Yeah, that's true, but it's a different kind of war. Senator Presley, Grassley and I have been over there. We know what that terrain is like, and we may have a disagreement on whether you should use ground forces or not, but it's so different than the Persian Gulf War, we cannot compare the same kind of terrain and the same kind of well, war. We have to know what would have to happen, though, for us to get out. Congressman Diaguardi, uh, you know, here's the situation. I but think why are we listening to the generals now? They're saying that we should commit the ground troops if we want to win this one. Well, you know, what I don't understand, though, is we're told at the outset, we'll go in, we'll do an incursion, we'll bomb him, he'll back off, that'll be the end of it. Now we're hearing July. Eight, we're hearing figures like $8 billion. We're hearing ground troops. Why couldn't we have been told the truth about this in the beginning? I think they tried to get us into this, this administration, without telling us up front well, what the parameters were. And that's what's infuriating to the American people, not to be told the truth. The worst thing that we're hearing is that we have almost a million refugees, displaced people in Kosovo, and they may be starving. 
Isn't that a good enough reason now I think to get on with this thing and finish it? I think it's a great reason. Arm the Kosovo Liberation Army. We armed the Croats. You want to arm the KLA? Why not? This, Didn't we arm the terrorist Croats? terrorist group. Didn't we? It's not. Where are you hearing that from? Is it Shremek, the Serbs? It's been all over Listen, the place. Come on. They, they're the, funded, but you deny that they're farm, funded by drug money? We, you deny that they're funded by drug money? Absolutely. That's Milosevic. You got the wrong right, the I'll wrong tell you person. what. We have some breaking news. The bombing continues tonight, by the way. Here are the latest pictures out of Yugoslavia. NATO is pressing its air campaign, hitting military installations, TV transmitters and bridges tonight. These are the latest pictures throughout Yugoslavia. And targets included some in Montenegro, uh, Montenegro and uh, Belgrade. And two explosions and a large fire were reported. An oil refinery and an oil depot were hit, according to Yugoslavia's official news agency. Belgrade sky, Belgrade sky was lit up by anti-aircraft fire as NATO planes continue to fly over the city as we speak. So those are the very latest pictures. We have the latest developments coming out of uh, Kosovo tonight. We'll continue our discussion, our debate, the conflict in Kosovo. We'll get to your calls later on. A lot of ground to cover. John Wong was also deposed today by Judicial Watch, and we'll have that exclusive tape coming up as we continue. Your calls, one triple eight tell Fox. We're glad you're with us on Hannity and Combs. Mr. President, I'm, I'm told we have to that's okay. I'll see. You can take one from Lynn. Yeah, I'll take a couple. Go ahead. You know what's going on, don't you? The people that, that, that help me don't trust you not to uh, write a story that's about something other than Kosovo, and they think the longer I stay up here, the greater my chances of screwing up. <laughs> That's really what's going on here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, it's wonderful when you're not running for anything. You can say that, you know, just exactly what's on your mind. Mr. Clinton spoke today to a gathering of newspaper editors. He said he's afraid of, we, uh, of us press people. Welcome back to Hannity and Combs. I'm Alan Combs. Remember, we'll be joined by Paula Jones tomorrow night. But right now, we're talking about the conflict in Kosovo with former New York Republican Congressman Joseph Diaguardi, now president of the Albanian American Civic League, Iowa Republican Senator Charles Grassley, and former Arizona Democratic Senator Dennis DeCancini. Senator Grassley, what about this idea, as uh, Congressman Diaguardi said, of arming the KLA? A good idea or a bad idea? We armed the Croats in Bosnia. Senator Grassley? Uh, it would be a better idea than having American troops on the ground. But isn't it a little late but for that? But let me say, you know, every, listen, everything we've been talking about here is, is just shows what's wrong with this whole policy. We stumbled into Kosovo, and I'm surprised that a president who uh, objected to the war in Vietnam uh, did not want to be drafted uh, and, and ought to learn by that because we stumbled our way through Vietnam and finally uh, just barely got out. And we stumble now into Kosovo again that we would have history repeat itself. Uh, you know, I, I'm with you on this one. This may shock you. I'm the, you know, I'm the liberal on the show, but I agree with you on that. And I'm shocked that we're involved here at the hands of President Clinton. Senator DeConcini, what about, wouldn't it have been better in the first place to arm, if not the KLA, at least provide munitions to others who could have carried out this well, policy one, rather than yeah, us doing now, it ourselves and spilling one, American we blood? You don't, you don't know for sure that's not happening because some things happen that are, that are covert and that are classified. Number two, the point. president is doing the right thing. He is using the military force without jeopardizing hundreds of thousands of American men and women. I think it's a good policy. I think it's responsible to go in there and do something. We also are providing aid for the humanitarian aid. That's what this is all about. And Milosevic is the, is the villain here. He's the one that's got to be got to be held responsible even for the accidents this wouldn't have happened had he not moved into Kosovo he's been threatening those people I've been there three times I've seen him absolutely run into the ground discriminated again against arrested We've got to take without a break any right without we're any gonna come back. Rights. we'll debate whether this is a good policy or not when we get back more coming on Hannity and Combs Coming up, NATO continues their bombardment, but the loudest rumblings are coming from Capitol Hill. What has Congress up in arms? We'll ask some members. And later, deposed again. Will John Huang shed new light on Chinese campaign contributions? Stay with Hannity and Combs.